The weights of domestic short-haired cats follow a bell-shaped distribution with an average weight of 9.0 pounds and a standard deviation of 1.1 pounds, form an interval that captures approximately 68% of the weights of domestic short-haired cats. All right, so in order to solve this problem, we have to first know what kind of problem we're dealing with. They tell us to create or form an interval, right? And then they mention this phrase, approximately 68%. That's interesting because if I know my empirical rule, if I remember some of those percentages that it gave me, 68% was one of those. And also that phrase approximately, that applies to empirical rule problems. They always use that language. Approximately blank percent of the data falls within a given interval. They want us to form an interval. So we definitely want to make the connection between the fact that they're asking us to find an interval that captures approximately 68% of the data. And remember that empirical rule gives us the idea that one standard deviation above and below the mean captures approximately 68% of the data. That's all true as long as we can make one assumption, and that assumption is that the data follows a bell-shaped distribution. And luckily, we find that up here, right? that it follows a bell-shaped distribution. So I think we can use empirical rule to solve this. And all we have to do is to take the mean add one standard deviation to it, take one away from it, and that will give us the interval we're looking for. So we're using this idea that the empirical rule says that the mean plus and minus one standard deviation captures approximately 68% of the data. If I know that to be the case, then I can just write down the mean from the problem, which it says is 9.0 or 9 pounds, and the standard deviation, which they say is 1.1 pounds. And then I can just follow the approach to fill out this interval, right? The mean minus one standard deviation, the mean plus one standard deviation. And that should capture approximately 68% of the data. So the rest is just a simple matter of arithmetic. Nine minus 1.1 up to nine plus 1.1. And that will give us the answer 7.9 when you take 1.1 away from 9, up to 10.1 when you add 1.1 to 9. And we're saying this interval captures approximately 68% of all the weights of domestic short-haired cats. By the way, just a side note, you'll notice that I used brackets here and I used the parentheses down here. That really makes no difference. Because weights are a continuous variable, the chance that any particular cat weighs exactly 7.9 pounds, it turns out that we're going to say that probability is approximately zero. Of course, it won't be zero if you're talking about rounding, but you know, for our purposes, it makes no difference whether we use the rounded parentheses or the square brackets. So let's just keep it at rounded parentheses when we fill in the numbers. And in fact, I can change these to rounded parentheses as well. It really makes no significant difference here for us. But this is the interval that we need. The span from 7.9 to 10.1 pounds should capture approximately 68% of all the weights of domestic short-haired cats. And the reason why that's the case is because we're told that those weights follow a bell-shaped distribution, and we used exactly one standard deviation above the mean and one below. And according to the empirical rule, that span captures approximately 68% of all the data under a bell curve.